If you are stressed, if you are on autopilot, if you feel like you're in a constant hustle and just moving through the motions of life faster and faster and faster, and if you want to find a way to manage stress and recharge your creativity, there is a simple, effective way. And the secret sauce is one word, journaling. And I'm going to tell you today why anyone would want to begin or maintain a journaling practice. I'm Elizabeth Wells. Let's get started. First of all, what's journaling? For our purposes today, journaling is the act of writing something down. It could be your thoughts, your feelings, a recording of the events of your day. Okay, that's why we're going to talk about journaling today. It's healing and cathartic. Healing and cathartic is a reason why a lot of people come to journaling. They want to get what's bothering them out of their body, out of their mind, out of their heart and onto the page. So catharsis, Ah! just throw it down on the page, get it out, cathart. That's one way. But journaling in the long run can be very deeply healing. It can help you witness yourself, calm yourself, and discover your own voice of compassion. I love this quote by William Shakespeare. Give sorrow words. The grief that does not speak whispers the o'erfraught heart and bids it break. And another beautiful quote by William Carlos Williams. That's the way writing often starts. A disaster or a catastrophe of some sort has happened to me. And I think that's the basis for my continual interest, my continued interest in writing. Because by writing, I rescue myself under all sorts of circumstances, whatever it may be that has upset me, then I can write and it relieves the feeling of distress. William Carlos Williams. Grief needs a witness, someone or something who sees you, accepts you, loves you. So this can be when there's no one else around your very own self through words on a page. And grief needs expression. Tears, poetry, music, song, sculpture, paint, words, creating a new business. So writing, journaling out your sorrow comforts loss. It is known to speed healing. It reduces stress, deepens peace, increases self-compassion and creativity. I started writing as a young creator. Seven years old, I started writing probably before the age of seven, but I mark seven as the beginning because the family was on its way to Europe and my mom gave me a little black book and said, this is your diary to write in. And I never stopped. I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to talk about the people and the lands and places we went to. That's how it started for me. It was at 11 that I became cathartic and writing my troubles and sorrows on the page. But at seven, it started because of the creative. So journaling primes the creative pump. In it, you can receive wisdoms, direction, create story, and it brings ideas. It develops intuition, a way to listen and hear yourself and a way to listen and hear others. It promotes focus. It assists organization, it increases clarity, and it encourages innovation. There are a thousand reasons, as I said, to journal, and many of them I put under this big category called enhance your creativity. A lot of people journal. You don't just have to be a woman of a certain age writing. We have presidents who journal. We have Benjamin Franklin. We have explorers, Lewis and Clark, We have the great thinkers, Ralph Waldo Emerson. We have Winston Churchill. We have Fyodor Dostoevsky, 
Anne Frank, Anais Nin. We have George Bernard Shaw. We have the great philosophers. We have fictional characters, Bridget Jones, The Nanny Diaries, The Princess Diaries. The art of writing is one very positive, strong way to heal, cathart, and create. So if you're getting value here, press the subscribe, press the like, and let's go to number three. Journaling will help activate your vision and voice. What does this mean? You can use your journal as a place to bounce off of for writing for social action. When you journal, you begin to identify your vision and your voice. It helps you develop confidence. It's a place to practice and think out loud about what you think and how you feel about life. You get to take authorship of your life and write your life and naturally and powerfully move towards your dreams and to let them move towards you. It secures a sense of peace and sovereignty in your body and it secures a connection to self and source as you perceive that to be, as you perceive that to be. And it can profoundly move you into your mission and your purpose. Your vision and your voice matter. And the world needs your gifts. One, write it out. What does that mean? Just let it spill on the page. Whatever you're thinking, feeling, observing with no critic, put the critic aside, put the thinking of the, I didn't spell that right. No, no, no. Journaling is not a place to make things right. It is a place to express and understand, which is very different from right and wrong thinking. It's a place of deep self-expression. So let your heart, let your body, let your mind, let your soul write it out. Write your truth. Be yourself on the page. Give yourself freedom on the page. When I was seven years old, I wasn't thinking, oh, nobody's gonna like what I'm saying. No, I didn't have that consciousness at the age of seven. I just wrote. I was free. Let yourself be free on the page. Write your dreams out. Write your dreams out. Write a letter to yourself or another. We're going to talk more about that another time. And write the present moment. What does that mean? It means to observe what is in your environment or in your body, in your thoughts, in your mind, in that moment and right from the present moment. And to tell you more about that, check out my next video, because the entire next video is about writing from the present moment and how it is both a healing and creative practice. Get your pen, get your pencil, get your computer. Write it out. Peace be with you.